the United States Navy's newest carrier-based interceptor is this supersonic F-4H Phantom II, produced in St. Louis by the McDonnell Aircraft Corporation. Now flying with the fleet's first operational all-weather F-4H fighter squadron, the VF-74 Bedevilers, aboard USS Forrestal, the Phantom is the world's fastest, most versatile fighter bomber. Supersonic jets are a familiar sight aboard today's gigantic aircraft carriers. Yet it was not so long ago, on 21 July 1946 in fact, that McDonald's Phantom I became the first American jet airplane in history to operate from a carrier flight deck. Today's attack carrier, a vast mobile air base, much bigger and faster than the flat top of World War II days, was created for one purpose, to support and operate airplanes against any threats to America or her traditional freedom of the seas. This mating of supersonic airplane and supercarrier did not happen overnight. It took years of careful planning. While the Phantom was still undergoing flight tests, New carriers were being constructed and others were being converted to handle it when it became operational. Now that the Phantom has joined the fleet, the protective arms of America's defense have become stronger than ever. The Forrestal, VF-74's operating base, is a self-sustained community of over 4,000 men and millions of dollars worth of equipment. Her four and a half acre flight deck 62 feet above the waterline, is over 1,000 feet long and over 250 feet wide. From her bridge, about 100 feet above the water, the captain can see more than 10 miles in any direction. Launch and recovery operations are directed from PriFly, primary flight control overlooking the flight deck, by the air boss, who controls all flight deck operations. There's a landing area. Air operations are as safe as the angled deck a mirror landing system, careful organization, and years of experience can make them. But continual training is necessary to keep the crews combat ready and flight deck operations at peak efficiency. The various fighter, attack, and special mission squadrons aboard function as a balanced team to defend the fleet, attack the enemy, or secure forward bases. All crewmen topside during air operations must wear colored jerseys and helmets buttoned down and goggles in place. Yellow identifies officers and hangar and flight deck directors. Red fuel, weapons, and repair crews. Brown, plane captains. Green, catapult and arresting gear crews, maintenance crews, electricians. And blue, plane pushers. Helicopters fly plane guard air sea rescue stations during daylight operations. At night, destroyers act as plane guards. Today's operations are typical of a peacetime shakedown training cruise. Besides launching and recovering airplanes, there are drills, general quarters, and many others, training for emergencies should the need ever arise. This is a drill. Oh, yes. This is a drill. Rick the barricade. Uh, Rick the barricade. Uh, have an airborne nice. crusader. It's five minutes fuel.
The barricade is an arresting device made of heavy nylon straps, which will stop an airplane if it cannot lower its tail hook. The stanchions can be raised and the net rigged in minutes. This is a drill, this is a drill. Oh, fire, fire, fire. Starboard side. All crews, flight captains, and one first water to complete the water down. Flight operations are about to resume. All unnecessary personnel clear the flight deck. Start the heroes. Okay, launch. Course change. The ship is coming about to head into the wind. All flight operations are carefully scheduled to maintain each squadron's proficiency. In the meantime, while their airplanes are being prepared for flight, in ready room one, just below the flight deck, VF-74 skipper briefs his pilots and radar intercept officers on their missions for the next launch. They'll be in any phase at 290-120. Lewis Point will be our alternate, and Montego Bay will be the secondary. The cycle time is one hour and a half. We'll be carrying two live sidewinders and two live sparrows. Takeoff gross weight is 48,400 pounds. The max landing fuel weight will be 4,000 pounds of fuel. Lewis Point TACAN is channel 92. The AWR 40 is on button 12. We will uh, climb out on 090, rendezvous at 35 miles, Angel 30. After the briefing, the bedevilers pull on their flight gear and wait word from Air Ops to begin flight operations. The two-man crew, the pilot and his RIO in the back seat, work together as an efficient team. The pilot flies the airplane and selects and launches the missiles. The RIO operates the radar, directs the airborne intercept, and assists the pilot with communications and navigation. The Phantom is a lethal looking bird. 45 degrees swept back wings and the negative dihedral of its stabilator give it smooth, positive handling characteristics at any altitude and any speed. Its two turbojet engines generate over 33,000 pounds of thrust. The flight deck director positions a phantom on the number two cat. The airplane on cat one is tensioned. The bridle is secured. The airplane on CAT-2 is tensioned, and the launch crew secures. The 
cat officer checks. Flaps down. All checks completed. The cat officer signals the pilots to run up their engines. The pilot is ready. are spotted on the forward cats. The Forrestal's four steam catapults can launch four airplanes almost simultaneously. The shuttles slide back. plane is positioned. Forrestal has four elevators, any one of which can lower or lift a 20-ton Phantom from the flight deck to the hangar deck in about 15 seconds. Airplanes are maintained in this huge three-and-a-half-acre hangar bay. It takes skillful maintenance and careful inspections to keep today's powerful complex jets in the air. While flight squawks on one airplane are checked out, another is raised to the flight deck, ready for launch. Two Phantoms are ready to go on the forward cats, and a third aft on the number four cat. A triple launch. One. Two. long-range light attack, or tactical ground support, the Phantom is unmatched by any other fighter in the free world. It can deliver twice the bomb load of World War II flying fortresses and carries an advanced bombing system for delivering conventional or nuclear stores. Its normal armament consists of Sparrow III air-to-air -air radar homing missiles 
and Sidewinder air-to-air -air infrared heat-seeking missiles. It carries comprehensive search and fire control radar systems for both types. With a full missile complement, the Phantom has zoom climbed over 100,000 feet, over 20 miles up. It has broken all existing altitude time to climb records and set a world's altitude record for sustained flight. The Phantom has set a world's absolute speed record of 1,606 miles per hour, during which it exceeded 1,650 miles per hour, as well as exacting 100 and 500 kilometer closed course records. It set a three kilometer record, flying nearly 15 miles per minute, sometimes no higher than 50 feet, and never more than 125 feet above the surface. To help celebrate the golden anniversary of naval aviation, the Phantom flew from the Pacific coast to the Atlantic in 169 minutes. The bedevilers are returning from their missions. Here comes the first one. In the groove. He catches the number two wire. Bedevilers like to fly the Phantom. It's stable and handles well. Leading and trailing edge flaps and boundary layer control, air blown over the flaps, add to the airplane's lift at low speeds. Its approach speed is slower than a commercial jet transports. Here's another phantom. A talker checks to see if his wheels, flaps, and tail hook are down. All down! The pilot is lined up for his approach, and the LSO, the landing signal officer, talks to him, advising him on his position. A spotter checks the landing area to see if it's clear. What about clear deck? Okay, on three. Highest ramp on five. Here comes an F-8U. He's on deck. And here comes another Phantom. That F-8U is still in the landing area. So the Phantom takes a wave off. As the pilot lines up on the glide slope, he is guided by an amber light called the meatball, a reflection from light shining into a movable concave mirror mounted on the flight deck. The pilot keeps the meatball centered in the mirror and lined up with a row of green lights right down to the deck. There are different glide angle approach settings for each type of airplane on board. If the pilot flies above or below the proper glide slope, the meatball rises or falls above or below the green reference line lights. To assure an OK landing, the pilot must maintain the correct glide slope lineup and angle of attack. extend around the clock.
The Bedevilers are the first squadron to become completely day and night qualified in the Phantom. As an air defense interceptor, as a long-range attack fighter bomber, the Navy's F-4H Phantom II is superior to any other fighter in the world. The Phantom and the fleet are prepared to defend America from any enemy, any time, anywhere.